Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to this talk. The presentation title is Toward Implementing uh, Incremental View Maintenance on Postgres. And I would like to talk uh, about our work in progress implementation of incremental view maintenance on Postgres. Uh, this is a technique to update materialized views effic efficiently. Uh, before starting, I would appreciate if you hold your questions uh, until till the end of presentation. Thank you. Uh, I, my name is Yugo Nagata, and an engineer at SRA OSS in Japan. Uh, I have a Postgres experience on technical support, uh, consulting, and some education about uh, Postgres internal architecture. And currently, I am in charge of R&D section, and especially uh, I am working on incremental view maintenance, today's topic. This is the outline of this talk. First of all, I uh, introduce views, materialized views, and what is incremental view maintenance. Uh, this is called IBM, IBM. Then I talk about what to be considered to implement this, and uh, exp explain our uh, work in progress patch I patch this idea and how it works. Next, I show some behavior examples and a simple performance evaluations I performed. Finally, I summarize uh, this after some discussions. First, uh, I'll talk about what is incremental view maintenance. At first, let's start about views. A view is a virtual relation uh, based on the result of stored select query. And view is defined by a definition query on base tables. Uh, this is a, well, sorry. This is a simple <coughs> example of a, a simple natural join views. Uh, in the database, only the definition query is stored. So, and the content state is not contained. So, the result is needed to be computed when a query is issued to a view. On the other hand, uh, materialized view passes the results of the definition query uh, in the table like form. So, this does not need to compute the result when a query, select query is issued on to this view. It enables faster access to data than using the normal views. However, the data is not always up to date, so materials view needs uh, the mater uh, maintenance of the data, <coughs> its data. The data of materials view is computed at the definition time it, uh, thing, uh, the view is created. This way is similar to create table as statements. That is the view, uh, that the result of the view definition query is computed and the result is inserted in the view to keep consistency between the materials data and the views tables, we have to maintenance of this view. So, uh, refresh, refreshing materials view is a way of the maintenance in PostgreSQL. When uh, refresh materials view command is issued, the contents of materials view is replaced with up to the, the data. The, uh, the, the result of the query is uh, 
definition query is computed, and the result is inserted in the temporary table. And then the data is replaced with the uh, current multi view data by, uh, by swapping. This means this needs to recompute all the result of query uh, from scratch to refresh the materialized view. Uh, with concurrently option, the materialized view is refreshed with uh, uh, weaker lock and without locking out concurrent select on the materialized view. Uh, in this case, the result of the definition query is computed, and then the, so this different is computed and this is merged to materialized view. Uh, this has a weak, weaker blocks, but uh, it is safe that we need to recompute the, all the uh, result of the definition query from scratch. Incremental view maintenance, uh, we call IVM, is uh, another technique uh, to maintenance view, maintenance materials view. This computed and applies only the incremental changes to the materials view. This figure out uh, IVM uh, informally. Uh, this uh, is a uh, base table data, and this is a view definition query. And using this table data and qu query, we can compute the contents of materials view. And then, where some update is issued on the base table. Base table is modified to, uh, this is updated, updated base table's contents. We can compute uh, the update, the up to date, the latest materials view content by uh, using view definition and this new contents of the table. <coughs> this is the computation, and this is that the uh, refresh command is doing. On the other hand, uh, update to base tables from the from the change of base tables, we can compute the change of the materials of view. And uh, applying this change to the old materials of view data, and we can get uh, the new up-to-date up materials of view contents data. This red line is uh, what uh, IVM is doing. I'll explain the basic theory of IBM in this uh, slide. Uh, this is a view definition. The view definition is described in uh, relational algebra form. Uh, this is a simple example. Uh, this is a natural drawing view of table R and R and S. OK, and then. Table is modified. The changes on a base table is descri described as this. Uh, in this notation, uh, this Nabla R uh, inverted Greek delta uh, R is a tuple uh, deleted from this table. And this delta uh, triangle R, delta R is a tuple inserted to this table. You then these uh, changes, deltas, and this uh, view definition, we can uh, compute the changes on view, uh, number of V and delta V. Uh, in natural joint case, uh, this is uh, uh, like this. And after that, 
applying these changes to the view, we can get the uh, up to date material view data. This is an uh, example. Uh, in this case, the contents of R is like this. Uh, contents of table S is like this. And this is a uh, natural join view. Uh, okay. After table R is changed, uh, R is changed. Uh, the first rows, uh, this data is changed. The uh, number R is like this. This is a, a, a number. R. Uh, this is a old data, and delta R is this is a new data. This is a change on the table. And uh, in this case, uh, we can compute the change on the view by calculate joining these changes and uh, table S, and the result is like like this, uh, number V and delta <coughs> V. Finally, the view is updated by applying, applying these changes, uh, like this, uh, number V and delta V, uh, applied in this view, uh, this tuple in view is updated, updated like this. Next, I'll explain our implementation idea of IVM. Uh, there are several considerations for implementing IVM. First, have to extract changes on base tables. About this, we use uh, after triggers and transition tables. Uh, I'll explain about this in uh, other slide. Also, logical decoding of a uh, word, word is another idea. But we have not considered this very so we use after trigger. Second, how to compute the delta that changes on to be applied to material views. This is basically based on relational algebra, well, bug algebra. Uh, in theory, we can handle various view definition, uh, complex view definition, but uh, we start we start from a simple view definition uh, that is a selection project on join views sorry then when, <coughs> when to ma maintain when to update the views there is a two approaches in theory uh, one is immediate maintenance and another is deferred maintenance. In immediate maintenance, views are updated in the same transaction where the base table is updated. On the other hand, in deferred maintenance, uh, the views are updated after the transaction is committed. For example, when a uh, view is accessed uh, as a response to use command, like refresh command, uh, the view is updated periodically, and so on. And uh, uh, how to handle views with tuple duplicates or distinct clause? This is an example of views with tuple duplicate. Uh, there are two same tuples. And this is duplicate. And suppose applying this change to this view. 
uh, in this case, only one tuple, uh, this only one tuple must be deleted rather than deleting all of them. them. Uh, we cannot use simple direct uh, delete statement because this will uh, delete both of two of tuples uh, when matching uh, the values of column. Another problem, uh, view with distinct class. Uh, in this case, uh, Duplicate is duplicate in base table is eliminated by distinct cl class. Uh, suppose applying these changes to this view. Uh, for mm, deleting these tuples, a tuple should be uh, a this tuple should be deleted if and only if the duplicity of the tuple becomes zero after this step deleted. If uh, this means uh, deleting this tuple only one, so if base table has only one this tuple, this can delete these views, but uh, this uh, base table have two these tuples. We can delete this tuple from view because uh, one tuple is uh, one tuple is left in view in base relations. Also, when inserting this tuple, uh, additional tuple cannot be inserted if there is already already the same one. Uh, uh, this tuple is already exists in the view. So after insta applying these changes, uh, we cannot insert a new tuple in this view. Okay. Uh, other uh, implementation of IBM, we, last year, we proposed an uh, IBM implementation at PGConf EU 1218. 12, uh, 12, uh, this is a, a POC a proof of concept implementation of using a tuple raw OIDs. OIDs, due to OIDs, this can handle views with diversity correctly. Uh, the OID is used as a primary keys on tuples in uh, materials views, and OID is uh, a system current, so this is invisible to users. So we can handle views with tuple duplicates correctly. Uh, if a uh, tuple's uh, value is same, OID is uh, different, so we can use OID. Also, distinct it is not supported in this implement. And uh, in this implementation, materialized views can be incrementally updated using refresh command. So this was a kind of deferred maintenance. But uh, this, there were some problems on this approach. Uh, first of all, OID system column is removed uh, in Postgres 12. So we can't use this approach any longer. Also, there was uh, some difficulty to implement, difficulty for implementation because this needs uh, many changes in executor nodes, uh, for example. Therefore, uh, after some surveys on IBM, we started to work on a new IBM implementation. Uh, the working in progress patch of this new implementation has been submitted to the PJSQ hackers mailing list. Uh, uh, from now, we, I will explain this uh, implementation. This provides a kind of immediate maintenance. That is, 
materials view are uh, updated automatically and incrementally after their base tables are updated. This is performed in After Trigger. And also, this support of views, including duplicate tuples or distinct clause in view definition. Uh, for this purpose, we use counting algorithm. Uh, what is counting algorithm? Uh, counting this algorithm is an algorithm for handling tuple duplicates or distinct uh, in uh, maintenance, maintenance, view maintenance. In this algorithm, the number of tuples is counted and stored in uh, materials view. Uh, in this example, sorry, this means first tuple has uh, uh, one tuple, this tuple has two tuples, and so this tuple is, has uh, one duplicity. Okay, and then uh, when uh, the, this change is applied to the view, uh, for tuple insertion, uh, uh, when the tuple are to be inserted into the view, the count is increased. Okay, uh, oh, this is insertion, and tuple, uh, this count is incremented, and when the tuple are to be deleted from the view, the count is decreased. Uh, and if the count becomes zero, uh, this is one to from one to two. But if this is from uh, from one to zero, uh, um, this count if the count becomes zero, the tuple must be deleted from the view. And next, I explain how this works in detail and how to implement it. Uh, when creating materials view, to create materials views with supporting with IBM support, uh, this syntax is used. Uh, create incremental materials view. Uh, this command create materials view, uh, which is automatically and incrementally uh, updated after base table changed. Uh, please note that this syntax is just tentative uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the current part, so it may be changed in future. Uh, this is an example, create a incremental methods view. Uh, this incremental is uh, IBM option. And then, uh, during creating uh, thing, Materials view is populated. The number of tuples are counted by adding counter asterisk aster and group by is to the query. Uh, and this result of counting is stored in the materials view as a special column name. Uh, we use IBM count in the current part. Uh, this is an uh, equivalent query performed at creating materials view. Uh, select count as, as IBM count and uh, group by this is uh, columns uh, in target list. And also, in the sh uh, after triggers, uh, on all base tables are created. Uh, they are created for insert, delete, and update query and as a statement level uh, trigger and uh, with transition table. I'll explain the next slide. And uh, note that these triggers are created uh, automatically and internally instead of issuing create trigger statement directly. This is uh, similar to the implementation of foreign key constraints. This is an example of an um, equivalent query of this create trigger. Uh, 
um, this is the same. Mm. Transition term is a feature of after triggers introduced from since PostgreSQL 11, mm, 10. Uh, using this feature, changes on table can be referred in the trigger function by using table name specified by referencing uh, class. Like this, uh, in differencing new table as IBM new table, all the table as IBM old table. In this case, uh, IBM all the table contains uh, tuples deleted from the table in the in a statement, and IBM new table contains tuples uh, newly inserted to the table in this statement. Uh, in theory, uh, this this uh, collecting. Uh, number R and delta R, respectively. And uh, in the after trigger function, change on views are calculated. This is performed by rewriting the view definition query, specifically by replacing the base table in the query with a transition table specified uh, when the trigger is created. And also, uh, count as and group by is added uh, to count the diversity of tuples. And the result uh, in stored inserted into temporary tables, uh, which uh, corresponds uh, number B and delta V uh, that changes on view. And this is an uh, equivalent query. Uh, uh, this is a uh, same uh, uh, previewed query uh, in the count asta and count by is added. And the, the difference is uh, the table name is replaced by transition tab the table's name. And this is old table and this new table. After calculating these changes, the view can be updated by merging this. For each tuple in changes table, uh, if the corresponding tuple already exists in the view, the value of IBM count is updated. Instead of executing uh, delete and insert, delete or insert statement simply, and then uh, the count becomes uh, zero, the corresponding tuple is deleted from the view. This process is performed by using modifying CTE. For example, like this. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, pen applying uh, tuple deletion. Uh, after searching uh, materialized views, and uh, if uh, the same tuple is existing in the view, the IBM count is updated. Uh, and if not, uh, if uh, the count becomes zero, the tuple is deleted. And tuple insertion example. Uh, updated IBM count uh, if the tuple is already in the view, and if not, insert the new uh, tuples in, into the view. Finally, when materialized view uh, is accessed, that is, uh, the when select query is issued for materialized view, and uh, there are two cases. Uh, one is view is defined with distinct class, and case others is distinct is not used. Then, uh, distinct is used in view query. Uh, all columns except to IBM count uh, of each tuple are returned. Uh, note that the diversity of tuples are already eliminated by. Uh, group by, so this is a correct result of distinct. And if distinct is not, is not used in view, 
uh, each tuple is returned uh, IBM count values times. Uh, this is performed by rewriting the query to replace the view uh, with a subquery, uh, which joins the view itself and generate a series, like this generates series one to the IBM count value. Um, I'll show some example behavior. Uh, this is a simple example. Uh, this created a um, simple material view with IBM option. And after uh, that content is as this. And uh, inserting a tuple in its base relation, base table. And then uh, select query for this view returns uh, the new tuples. That is, the view is automatically updated. This is a simple example. Uh, and, uh, this is an example of view with tuple duplicate. Uh, this is a base table. And a uh, material view with incremental option is created like this. Uh, mm. Base table has a four rows, but uh, the content of material view is actual three rows. And this is uh, because diversity is uh, eliminated by group by. And then, uh, ah, and after that, the contents of material view is that. Uh, that Result, uh, return result shows uh, there's four rows. And uh, after uh, inserting a log uh, 5b into the base table and deleting uh, 1a and 3c from this base table. After that, uh, the view contents is uh, correctly updated. Uh, the before contents is that, and the new contents is like this. Uh, one, a, mm, one A is deleted, and B, one B and one C, uh, uh, C is deleted, and uh, B is added. Uh, as an example, the IBM count column is normally invisible for users, as shown before. However, this can be visible uh, if this is specified explicitly in the target list. Uh, this may change in future, but uh, this means B. Uh, but B is, there are two Bs in materials view and one A is in materials views. And then, explain command is performed. Uh, you can see the internal uh, mechanism, internal usage of general threads, uh, like this, in the explain result. Uh, finally, uh, I'll show the result of a simple performance evaluation. I used a two materialized view of a simple natural join. And the PG bench table is uh, used. Uh, tables are used. And the scale factor is 100. And one view is a normal uh, materialized view. And another is a uh, materialized view with incremental option. and the uh, definition is the same. Uh, first, of all, first of all, I measure the execution time of refresh of normal materialized view. Uh, 
In this case, it looks, uh, it, it took more than 10 seconds. Uh, on the other hand, uh, after uh, creating index of matters view and updating uh, one of the best table, the view, PG bench account, uh, it takes only 18 milliseconds. And the contents of materials view is updated automatically and correctly. Uh, this is uh, rapid than normal uh, refresh command. Uh, well, however, uh, after dropping the index, mm. uh, updating the base table took about uh, four seconds. Although this is a uh, faster than normal refresh, but uh, this shows the appropriate index is necessary on the there's a view for efficient IVM. And this implementation is a work in progress, so there are many restrictions. The current implementation supports view with selection, projection, inner join, and distinct the aggregation and group by and self join, sub query, after join, CT window function, set operations are not supported for now. Uh, however, I would like to deal with a part of aggregation by the first release of IVM. And about a timing of view maintenance. The current implementation supports only a kind of immediate maintenance. That is, views are updated imme immediately after a base table is modified. On the other hand, we also uh, need deferred maintenance. Uh, in that approach, views are updated after the transaction, for example, by the command, use a command like refresh. Uh, so to implement this deferred approach, we need, I think we need a mechanism to maintain change logs of this table. Uh, for example, where maintain the changes uh, occurred in base table and maintain uh, and control uh, what log is needed and what log is uh, unnecessary and can be deleted uh, and so on. Okay, and uh, also there could be another immediate uh, maintenance implementation in that uh, the view are updated at the end of transaction that modify the base tables instead of after triggers. And in this case, uh, several tables are related, uh, several tables are changes, several base tables can be changed. So this approach also needs to implement log change log maintenance mechanism as well as deferred maintenance. And there will be discussion about counting algorithm implementation of this part. Firstly, in our implementation, IVM count is treated as a special current name. So maybe this name has to be inhibited in user table or at rest in materialized view. However, I'm not sure it is accessible to use such a special common name or, uh, or there is as a better way. Uh, and second, uh, generate series function is used when materialized views with Tuple duplicate is accessed. Uh, actually, this does not have to be generated thread function. We are able to make a new set of returning function for this, 
this purpose. But there, uh, despite of their uh, performance issues, and this is a problem. Uh, first, due to using such a function, planner's low number estimation gets wrong, so this can uh, have an impact on performance. And also the cost of joining the function and uh, the view could be high. Uh, so due to these performance issues, so maybe uh, we might have to add a new plan node uh, to support to implement counting algorithm instead of using a set returning functions. Uh, as other issues, uh, when concurrent transactions modify base tables, there could be a long lock waiting and uh, race conditions that results a wrong result of view maintenance. Uh, this is a big problem. So we need more investiga investigation for this issue. Uh, I'm, we are investigating now. Uh, in addition, uh, we could do some optimizations for example, mm. counting algorithm is not necessary, not needed, if a view does not have distinct or duplicates, double duplicates. So in that case, uh, we can skip extra work for counting. Also, when the overhead of IBM is higher than normal refresh, uh, we should use a uh, Better a uh, normal refresh instead of RVM. Uh, for make this decision, uh, we would we can use optimizers cost estimation. This might be useful. Okay, in sorry. Uh, in this talk, we explain our implementation of increment, uh, implementation of incremental view maintenance on PostgreSQL. And this allows a kind of immediate view maintenance using after trigger. And this can handle views with tuple duplicates and distinct class using counting algorithm. Uh, at, uh, this is a work in progress, and so there are a lot of to do uh, in future. Uh, by the first release of IBM, I would like to support aggregation and group by. And I would like to implement deferred maintenance after that. Uh, of course, we also resolve concurrent transaction issues and uh, consider some optimizations. Uh, this uh, working in process patch it has been submitted to PJS Hackers list. The, the subject is implementing incremental view maintenance. So we are so happy if you give us any suggestion, opinion, or comments on this thread. Thank you, that's all. Any question? Yeah, I
Low level trigger uh, calculation of changes on view is necessary for each rows. Um, I think uh, it have a large overhead. Mm, so, mm, so I think it is better to use statement level. Uh, but. Temporary table. Hmm? Uh, 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 log table. 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 Uh, log table
Ah, uh, well, so, mm. uh, the question is why we don't use uh, the transaction load? Mm? Uh, no? Yeah, I'm sorry, an oracle that is pre materialized view bar. Ah, materialized view bar, like Oracle. Uh, yes. Why not do that? Yeah, I just <laughs> started uh, small stuff, so. <laughs> But to support deferred maintenance, uh, we need uh, some log mechanism, log maintenance mechanism. So I uh, implement, uh, design the log mechanism uh, eventually. Ah. I'm just curious how you uh, uh, this is a somewhat ad hoc and ping, passing, passing, scared statement uh, and expanding asterisk, uh, select asterisk mm, target list. Uh, if the table uh, if this name is Kram, is uh, just ignore it. <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be in any table that if somebody defined this table with that column here. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I know. Well, yes. Uh, I realize this. Thank you for suggestion. Thank you. Thank you.